we focused on two areas. One is on feedback, so giving people the information they need to make better decisions. And then the second focus uh, that we did is on uh, motivation. So we're really, really focused on helping the students look at and identify their own self-identified reasons for wanting to reduce resources. So it's very much not externalized, it's what's known as intrinsic motivation. We designed a system of feedback mechanisms. So these include things like the shower orb, which shines and gives us different lighting times to tell the students how long they've been in the shower, dashboard screens, display screens on the walls of their units where they can see all of their energy and water use, messaging so students get messages, email messages that give them information about the amount of energy they've been using. So what we found uh, after three years of data collection is that there was an effect of motivation as well as an effect of feedback. People who who underwent our motivational intervention, right? So people who were exposed to uh, a motivational exercise that was designed to target individuals' personal reasons for wanting to conserve energy and resources, these individuals actually, uh, in fact, saved more water. So they used less water compared hot water compared to people who did not undergo this motivational intervention. Um, and uh, for electricity, we found that people who received feedback, so, so those students who had the, uh, the screens, the display panels in their living room walls, they actually used less electricity than those who didn't have the continuous dynamic feedback. So 20%, is that important? Well, if you look at the entire United States, um, residential areas use about 20% of the electricity in the United States. And so, you know, we're, we start talking about putting a, a, a dent that we can measure, 20% at 20% is, you know, that's a, quite a bit of uh, potential savings nationwide. And that's just in the residential area. Uh, so it can add up quickly the more we can spread this project across the country. People are really, really important part of our energy systems, and it's often the piece that we forget. We talk about, oh yeah, we can put solar panels on, but somebody's still going to use that electricity. And so we can't really push the getting to zero uh, net greenhouse gas emissions unless if we also do that last part and make sure that any electricity that we use or natural gas or water is done in the most efficient manner. And turning things off when we're not using them makes us, our use of the energy, more efficient because uh, we're, we're not gaining value out of something being on when we're not in the room. And so reminding people that they're part of the system and that they're part of the efficiency equation is really, really important. And that's hopefully when we think about the feedback and motivational level, that they're starting to learn that they are a part of the overall system. This project would not have been possible with the uh, funding and uh, intellectual support, both from NYSERDA, the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, and IBM. They both contributed in different ways that enabled us to carry out this very interdisciplinary project that included faculty and students from across Clarkson's campus.